So Microsoft recently announced Copilot Wave 2. And I think this is by far one of the most underrated things in AI right now, because this is literally going to change how most individuals actually use AI on a day-to-day -day basis. Even if you don't have use for this at work, I think it's certainly going to help you in your day-to-day -day projects. So this is something worth paying attention to. All right, so let's take a look at the first major upgrade. Excel just became insane with its new Python integration. You don't even have to know how to code, which is wild. Picture this, you've got a ton of data, like years of sales numbers, and you're thinking this is probably gonna take forever. Now here's where it actually gets crazy. Copilot steps in, runs advanced analysis for you, and gives you insights, charts, forecasts, whatever you need, without touching a single formula. It's literally like adding a pro data analyst to your team. So let's take a look at how it all works. Say you want to understand revenue trends. First step, importing all your data. You bring together data on product sales, pricing, and customer feedback, drawing from Salesforce, SAP, and Dynamics. Now you have a workbook with all the raw data you need in one place, and you can use Copilot to shape and analyze the numbers. Let's start by figuring out which category of your business is driving the most revenue. You know how to calculate that, but this sheet has three years of sales data, so while it's a routine task, this much data can be unwieldy. You ask Copilot to quickly calculate monthly revenue by product. It knows exactly how to do that and which data to reference across tabs. Copilot creates a plan for how to run those numbers, executes that plan showing its work as it goes, and prompts you to ask questions or iterate on the solution it reached. It looks great. So you're ready to add that column to your spreadsheet. Now, a new request has come in and you need to understand how each product category is performing and ensure you're selling at least $100,000 of product in each category per month. Let's start by comparing sales by category. You ask Copilot to create a simple bar chart so you can quickly see which product categories are selling best. And with conditional formatting, it highlights the product lines that aren't meeting the 100K minimum threshold, so you know where to focus. Now that we know which products aren't selling as well, let's dig a little deeper and see what we can learn from customer feedback. Copilot in Excel can now reason over text like this raw customer data. Copilot analyzes all the customer feedback from the past quarter and surfaces the top three concerns. It looks like charging speed might be an emerging issue so let's ask Copilot to highlight customer reviews that mention charging speed. Now, with the help of Copilot, you've taken a complex, disparate data set and quickly analyzed it, giving you a full picture of your revenue trends that you can bring to the upcoming business review. If you're a financial analyst, you live in Excel. You're analyzing and mining the data for insights that make a huge difference to your business. And we know that Python, one of the most popular programming languages on the planet is fast becoming an indispensable tool for advanced analysis, modeling, and data visualization. Today, we are excited to announce Copilot in Excel with Python, democratizing its powerful capabilities all without needing to know how to code. It's like adding a highly skilled data analyst to your team. Take a look. You're working on your company's annual revenue forecast, planning for the next fiscal year. This can be a time-intensive task, but now Copilot can write and interpret Python code, making your job a whole lot easier. In just a couple of clicks, Copilot does an advanced analysis, reasoning over three years of historical sales data. Just like an analyst would, Copilot opens up a new workspace where you can experiment to get the insights you're looking for, all without altering your original data. It shows a preview of what it's reasoning over, creates a plan to analyze it in a way that is immediately useful, and executes it by running and writing Python code, giving you a quick picture of your numbers. Now you're ready to iterate on Copilot's work, so let's ask it to forecast your annual revenue for the next two years. Copilot repeats the pattern, creating a plan for how to tackle the task, writing and running Python code, and prompting you to iterate and ask questions about its work. If you want to make any edits to the Python code itself, you can do so directly in the workbook. This is the power of bringing Python directly into the Excel grid. Let's take it a step further. 
you want to understand which customers are prioritized to close gaps and meet your revenue goal. So you go back to your original customer data and ask Copilot to use Python to rank customers based on upsell opportunity. As Copilot gets to work, it jumps back to your analysis workspace. It prioritizes the most helpful metrics and provides a preview of the data it will use. It ranks them, and within moments, you have a prioritized table. You want to see a visualization of the customer ranking and understand the weighting methodology Copilot used. Copilot quickly creates a chart and gives you a detailed breakdown of how it arrived at the answer. Within minutes, you've worked with Copilot to create a detailed summary of your data, all without writing. Okay, so we've all been there, blank PowerPoint slide, no idea where to start, right? This is where it gets crazy. PowerPoint's narrative builder with Copilot is your new best friend. You give it some basic info and bam, it drafts a whole pitch deck for you. Titles, speaker notes, even on-brand visuals all ready to go. It's like PowerPoint, but on steroids. I mean, this is actually useful and I don't know about you, but I'll be using this for sure when I need to crank out presentations fast. So let's take a look at how PowerPoint became upgraded. Say you're a sales lead getting ready to pitch a new retail customer. You ask Copilot to create a compelling pitch deck in your company template that shows how your product will attract shoppers and keep them in the store longer. Now, with Copilot and PowerPoint's new narrative builder, you are in creative control. It starts with a draft outline where you can reorder the flow, delete topics you don't want, or add new ones, and ensure you've got a solid outline before creating a presentation. Let's add a section on our key value props tailored to customer insights. And another section with customer testimonials. Within seconds, you have a content outline and you're ready to start on your presentation. Copilot makes a plan for creating the slides and executes it crafting the titles and draft copy, pulling in images from your corporate library, and applying your company's PowerPoint template so the presentation is on brand. Now you're ready to iterate with Copilot as your partner. It looks like this slide could use an image. You tell Copilot what you're looking for, and within seconds, it provides several options from your company's approved image library. Copilot can also provide AI-generated images using Designer and Dolly 3. Now that you've selected a photo, PowerPoint gives you several slide design options aligned to your company brand guidelines to choose from. You can keep iterating, but let's see what Copilot has helped you build so far. It added speaker notes to every slide, built slide transitions, and added animations, giving you a professional looking presentation that's on brand. With Co So here's where we have something that changes the game. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly have so many pointless emails piling up in my inbox. Now here's where it gets insane. Outlook's prioritize my inbox feature uses Copilot to sort your emails based on what actually matters. It knows which emails are important based on your job, your team, everything, and it learns. So next time it'll prioritize what you care about. This is actually useful because we all know how much time we waste on emails. I'll definitely be using this to stop drowning in my inbox. Prioritize my inbox. Let's take a look. Copilot and Outlook can now help you prioritize what's in your inbox. It analyzes all your emails using both the content of your messages and the context of your job, like who your manager is and who's on your team, to highlight what's most important. You can then sort by priority based on Copilot's analysis. Let's look at this email from a new customer, Tailwind Traders. When you select it, Copilot shows you why it thinks it's significant and highlights what action you need to take. This is a key customer for the next few months. So you teach Copilot that all emails mentioning them are top priority. Now Copilot knows to prioritize any email from Tailwind Traders. Copilot is your partner, helping you manage your inbox so you don't miss what's most important. Now let's switch to Outlook Mobile. You have to run to a meeting, but you don't want to leave the customer hanging. So you need to draft a response on the go. We're making it even easier to be productive on your phone with Copilot and Outlook. Copilot analyzes the email and offers some suggested responses. Now all you have to do is pick one as your starting point and instruct Copilot on what else to add. Copilot generates a solid draft and it's ready for editing. Because this is going to a customer, you want to make it more formal. So you ask Copilot to adjust the tone. You can easily flip through the options and select which version you like the best. The second paragraph could also use an update. 
can edit it yourself or ask Copilot to help. Let's highlight the relevant section and tell Copilot what you want to include. Once you're happy with the edits, you can accept the changes and your email is ready to send. Now here's a surprising feature, Copilot in Teams. So let's imagine this. You finish a meeting and instead of frantically trying to remember what was said, Copilot has already transcribed it all and pulled out the key points for you. And now here's where it gets crazy. It even scans the chat for important questions or ideas you missed. So no more, wait, what did I miss moments. This is actually useful. And for anyone who lives in back-to-back -back meetings, this is going to save so much time. Copilot and Teams can now reason over both the meeting transcript and the meeting chat to give you a complete picture of what was discussed. Let me show you how. You meet as a team to discuss the customer's RFP. As the meeting wraps, you think you might have missed some important questions in the chat. Now, Copilot and Teams captures this valuable, high bandwidth conversation. Let's ask Copilot about any questions you may have missed. It quickly scans what was said and what was in the chat, looks for questions, and checks if any were left unanswered. Now you have a list of the open questions so you can follow up and close the loop with the team. Now I'm literally so glad they've added this. OneDrive used to be a mess before, but now here's where it gets insane. Copilot in OneDrive actually compares files for you. Let's say you have two documents with similar names. Copilot will tell you exactly what's different between them without you opening a single file. This is a surprising feature and honestly, super useful for those of us who constantly dig through files. I'll definitely be using this when I can't figure out which version is the latest. OneDrive is a rich repository of content. And with Copilot in OneDrive, finding exactly what you need has never been easier. Copilot helps you work faster and smarter, summarizing your content and answering your questions without ever opening a file. Let's say you need to find the latest product specs for a customer. You go to OneDrive, but you can't tell which of these files is the right one, as they both have file names indicating they could be the latest. Let's ask Copilot to compare them. Within seconds, you have a clear, easy to read summary highlighting the important differences between the document and PDF. Now you know the one dated August 13th is what you need. So you can be confident you're giving the customer what they requested. All right, guys, we have the big boys, agents, and more specifically, co-pilot agents, and this is where it gets crazy. Imagine having an AI assistant that doesn't just answer questions, but can actually do your work for you. We're talking about automating tasks, pulling data, and even making decisions. Say you need to troubleshoot something on the spot or place an order for a part, co-pilot agents have got you covered. And the best part, anyone can create one. You don't need to be a developer. You just tell it what you want, connect it to your systems like SharePoint or Dynamics, and boom, it's up and running. This is insanely useful if you want to cut down on repetitive tasks and free up time to focus on the important stuff. I'll definitely be using this to streamline my work. Introducing Copilot Agents. Broadly speaking, agents automate and execute business processes, working with or for humans. They come in all shapes and sizes. They can reason, remember, be trained, and even know when to ask for help. Agents range from simple prompt and response to more advanced agents that automate repetitive tasks to sophisticated agents that are fully autonomous and can orchestrate other agents. Copilot agents do that and more. They bring the power of agents to you right in the flow of your work. They work for you in the background, are fully managed and orchestrated by Copilot and are incredibly easy to create. Copilot agents build capacity, enabling you to scale your team like never before. Take a look. We'll start in BizChat, where we can open a simple agent for a field service technician. Say you're on site and you get an error code you've never seen before. You built a field service agent for exactly this. It has access to all your product knowledge and can give you step-by-step -step instructions in real time. Now, watch how simple it is for anyone to create the agent we just saw and add it to Copilot. You fire up Agent Builder and describe what you want the agent to do. It needs to be able to reason over your product catalog and repair tickets to provide step-by-step -step troubleshooting instructions. Let's connect it to SharePoint so it has access to all the knowledge it needs. It's built in seconds, so you can start using it immediately or edit and configure it to fit your needs. You can expand its knowledge base by tapping into resources like SharePoint sites or other IT approved data sources. You can even update its name or image to align with your company's branding. So let's do that. You can test the agent right here or just hit create and you're done. And of course, 
The agent respects your organization's Microsoft 365 and SharePoint security permissions. Okay, here's a surprising feature for all the SharePoint users out there. Copilot has just turned SharePoint into a gold mine of insights. You know how SharePoint is full of data, documents, and records that are super hard to sift through. Now here's where it gets insane. Copilot can reason over all that info, answer questions, and even take action, just like a real teammate would. You can build a Copilot agent directly in SharePoint to do things like automate workflows, make recommendations, or pull in data from other sources. And get this, you can share it with your team in one click. It's a total game changer for anyone dealing with loads of information in SharePoint, and I'll be using this for sure to get more out of my content. Let's say there's an issue that requires further research and follow-up. Your team keeps all its customer records from deployment to maintenance reports on a SharePoint site. It's a wealth of valuable insights that's largely been locked away, kind of hard to extract until now. You can create an agent with a single click from any SharePoint site, library, or folder. An agent that deeply knows the information it was built on. It can answer questions about source material, reason over that material, and take action, just like a well-informed teammate would. In just a few seconds, your co-pilot agent is ready to be used or shared with others. Let's add it to your team chat so everyone can work with the agent. Now all those artifacts in SharePoint are immediately accessible and useful, so Copilot can reason over all the relevant content to find what your team needs. You can at mention the agent as you would any other teammate, sharing new information and asking it questions, and it will respond in real time. Let's take it a step further. Now, we'll edit the agent we just built so we can take action on behalf of the team. First, open your agent in Copilot Studio. Here, you can customize the knowledge an agent has as well as the actions it can take. You want it to be able to place an order for new parts with your procurement team. Let's connect it to Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. And in just a few seconds, you're ready to update the agent and bring it back to the team chat where you're working on solving the customer's issue. Let's ask the agent to order the part it recommended. Your agent is on it, asking you to confirm before moving forward. Once you give it the go ahead, it's done. Wow, there you have it. So what do you guys think about these recent announcements? Are you going to be using this stuff? I'm definitely going to be doing a few tutorials on my channel for these pieces of software because I think that this is something where once again, those who are early are going to benefit massively from a streamlined workflow. So I'm gonna be testing many of these things, many different agents to see what is the most effective. If you already know how to use these tools and are remarkably effective, why don't you leave a comment down below and let everyone know how best to take advantage of these tools. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.